Hello, everyone. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you for joining us for another weekly update on COVID-19 as it pertains to Douglas County. I'd like to welcome again, Dr. Janet Meemark from Cobb and Douglas Public Health. How are you doing this morning, Dr. Meemark? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. So, Dr. Meemark, nationally, we're still seeing an increase in cases of COVID-19. What does this mean for Douglas County? What are the current COVID numbers? Yeah, so um, Douglas County, unfortunately, is not immune to um, the surge that's happening right now. And so um, it seems like our entire metro area is experiencing a, um, a pretty big surge that um, um, has has kicked off. And so right now, Douglas's numbers, uh, we have 4,613 um, cases and 79 deaths at this time. Um, those numbers do not include the antigen numbers. So those are the other tests that um, pick up on positive COVID cases. So it's probably a little bit higher than that. Um, but this case rate right now is 211 cases per 100,000. So remember, you know, under 100 cases per 100,000 is considered uh, um, lower uh, transmission. And so over 100 is high transmission. And right now we have substantial community transmission of COVID-19 that's happening. So Dr. Meemark, it's November 19th as we are recording today uh, for the viewers of Douglas County. Is there anything new about the COVID-19 vaccine that you can tell us? Yeah, so um, for those of you that have been following national media, um, we've had some very good news on the two vaccines that will be coming out. So both Pfizer and Moderna have um, COVID-19 vaccines that have been proven to be very, very effective. So they're showing over a 95% effectiveness in preventing COVID-19. Um, so that is great news. The safety protocols and safety uh, uh, measures for these vaccines are, are being shown to be very good as well. So um, what you would normally uh, expect with regular vaccines. We anticipate that we will have the vaccine probably you know, the end of this month, um, early in December, and then uh, at, through the end of uh, December. That's when the vaccines will be rolling out. I want to caution everybody. We've been getting a lot of calls about the vaccines, um, but I want to caution everybody that the first batch of vaccines, the ones that we'll get through the end of the year, is going to be a much, much smaller dose. And then they will be ramping up the, uh, the manufacturing of the vaccine. So um, right now, it's going to be really the highest priority people that we need in our infrastructure to to take care of things. So for example, it will be healthcare workers first. So we really need them to be able to be around to take care of our folks. So they'll be first in line to get the vaccine. And then we have the first responders that are on that list, as well as like nursing home patients and, and staff members, and then um, people, um, elderly people with medical conditions, and then um, it will be essential workers. So that's a lot of people, right? And we don't have that much vaccine that's coming out but it will be rolling out in phases. And so the other question I get oftentimes is when do we think that the, the um, kind of regular population would be able to have access to the vaccine? And it's probably looking more like springtime for that, but you will see a gradual phased in rollout of the vaccine. And so we've been working on that and, uh, and we'll make sure that Douglas County is um, provided for. So it sounds essentially last week we tried to ring the alarm bells to alert people that cases are rising yeah. um, and it's of concern. This week, it's continuing. So cases are still continuing to rise. Mm -hmm. The Thanksgiving holiday is upon us. What is your advice to Douglas County residents when it comes to gathering for the holiday with friends and family? So I, I um, advise extreme caution going into this holiday. Um, the transmission of COVID-19 is very, very high right now. And it, it is really just kind of uh, moving through our community. Um, it, the advice is to try to do um, Thanksgiving with your immediate family best you can. We had talked about quarantining, doing a self-imposed um, pseudo quarantine to decrease your, your exposures so that you would um, not expose family members. Um, but really think long and hard about this, um, who you are exposing and potentially being exposed to during this time. This surge, I, I read this morning, there are only three states that are not experiencing a surge right now. And so it is really a, a very dangerous activity if we do this um, without having safety precautions in place. Wow. Is there anything else you would like to tell the residents of Douglas County today? 
Yeah, so um, I didn't touch upon on this, but you know, hospitalizations are very high right now. Um, the Douglas Hospital did not have any reported uh, critical care or medical surge beds available yesterday. And the number of COVID patients that they have also jumped substantially. So, I mean, we are seeing the, you know, kind of what we have seen before. And so everybody knows, you know, what needs to be done at this point. So aside from the wearing the mask and washing your hands and keeping distance, and before I said avoid large crowds, I'm really, at this point, I really advise that everybody not do any unnecessary activity at this point that's going to increase your exposure. So, you know, try your best to, to hunker down a little bit and, and try it so we can bring this transmission down. Um, people, it's just people have been very, very lax, and we've been trying to get back to our normal um, activities. But it, it is really it has increased some st um, transmission to the point where it, it's become very concerning. Hospitals are already showing um, increases in cases, and so you know what's going to follow, and deaths follow after that. So we got to do something to slow this down. Wow! Wow! Well, Dr. Meemark, you've provided a great deal of valuable information for our Douglas County citizens. Thank you for taking the time, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you again. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate it.